Okay, burning out your quail uh, for the galantine for the test. Very simple. First step, you're going to remove the wishbone. Okay, from the breast, so just scrape the meat away on both sides, just so we can expose the bone, we can see where it is. Take my knife behind and remove. Okay, same on the other side. Just cut through that fat. Turn her upside down, and then we're going to start to bone it out. So we cut a line from the head to the tail end, okay, just through the skin. Don't go through the bone. Don't have to press too hard. Just enough to cut through the skin. Then we're just going to remove some of this skin. Get the tip of our knife underneath. Okay, just enough. Pop the bone so we can see where that joint is, and then I can get my knife in that gap, tip of your knife in the gap, and then cut through out the back. Cut around the little oyster, and then you should have your leg nice removed. So you just want it hanging on by the skin. Okay, same on the other side. So again, tip of my knife, come through, remove, peel back, that skin. Just enough so I can see that leg joint, pop that bone. You can see it there, just poking up through the flesh so I know where that joint is. I put my knife in between the two around that joint, around that little oyster. So there's the legs, nicely removed. So now we work obviously for the breast and the fillet. There's a tiny bone that sticks up off the backbone there. Come the outside of that, don't go on the inside. Come the outside of that and just follow that line down until you hit the joint at the bottom, okay? Where the winglet is, cut through that winglet joint. Now we can start to remove the breast. You can see the breast meat here, hopefully. So again, we can just start getting as close to the bone as I can using the tip of my knife. We can just start to remove that breast. Also the fillet. The fillet is joined to this, this joint at the bottom. So again, if you've cut that through right, you should be removing both of them at the same time. Right into there. Follow the ribs round. Okay, and then you'll come to the breastbone, and I can just start to scrape that away <coughs> to reveal the breastbone there. So at that stage, that's pretty clear. So you can see the breast, you can see the fillet, same on the other side now. Just remove that little bit of skin there. So again, come over that bone, okay, find where that is. There she goes, okay down to the to the winglet joint, find that joint and just cut through. You should just be able to go through the ball and socket joint, very similar to when you dislocate the leg. And again now, you can just follow those lines, get in there to remove that fillet. There's a, you can see the joint there, hopefully. There's the sinew that runs through the fillet. So I just need to detach that. So I know I've got all my fillet out. And then there's a the breast plate again. So I can just gently scrape that down. And there is done the quail. So now, as close as I can to that breast bone, cut around, follow that line, and that will remove. So there is your, your bone, your full breast bone. Lay that down. What I'm looking for 
two fillets are attached, yes they are, two nice breasts, we haven't chushed into them. Remove the winglets, just cut around the joint, don't cut into the breast. And so, and now for the legs. Don't want to cut through the bottom skin, okay, so you're just cutting across the bone just to expose them. There's only two, it's quite simple. And then once you can see there, we'll get underneath. We can then remove the flesh the best we can. Lift those two up together so we can cut round. So, this one. When you do this in your test, you want to be looking at no more than 10 minutes to have your quail boned out. The quicker you can get this one done, this is the fiddliest one, because it's so small, get this done and press on with other, other jobs. Okay. Expose the bones underneath. So what we have left, so I've boned our quail, we've got, I'll just cut down a little bit in between, but the one, the two fillets there, the two breasts underneath obviously, all intact, all in shape, you've got your, your two little wet leg bones, your two winglets, and then obviously your quail carcass, and that should be it, job done.